Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Natasha Brown. Temple this afternoon announced an arrest in a terrifying firebombing at a home that was filled with university students at the time. We have an Eyewitness News exclusive for you this evening. Temple University's public safety director is only speaking with CBS3 about this scary situation. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live at Temple with details. Matt. Well, I talked to the victim, Natasha, this afternoon. He tells me that he is shaken and he is scared. He didn't want to be on camera, but was inside that home along with three other Temple students at the time of that fire bombing. He tells me that he is at ease, though, a little bit, knowing that an arrest has been made. Security video shows a man walking out of a home in the early morning of November 15th, walking along the 2000 block of North Cleveland Street. Watch as he first allegedly throws a brick through a window, then tosses what police say appears to be a firebomb through a window before walking away. Four Temple students were asleep inside. All of them got out. None were physically injured. The suspect is now in custody thanks to Temple's police force. Well, our detectives have been instrumental. Temple's vice president of public safety, Jennifer Griffin, says an alert Temple detective found the suspect Thursday morning near campus, adding a neighbor's security camera was crucial in the investigation. We were comparing it with footage that we had in and around the area to look to see if the suspect had come into um, onto campus. You can see the home is now boarded up and there's heavy smoke damage by the front door. A victim who didn't want to be on camera says the inside is gutted. One woman we talked to lives next door. I don't know what's going on right now. It's just, it's just crazy. Annie Elliott was asleep a few doors down at the time of the fire bombing. It happened right outside of Temple's safety patrol zone. She suggests expanding it to cover more students. To expand it would be better. With expanding the patrol zone, you know, I would say we can't and we won't. At this, you know, this, the patrol zone is already extended outside of where we have facilities and buildings. And I also talked to the mother of the suspect. She identified him as 35 year old Kyle Hall. He is expected to appear in front of a federal judge Friday afternoon. His mother tells me that she is sorry and disappointed and apologizes about all the damage, but says that he has suffered from mental health issues for most of his life. Reporting live outside of Temple University in North Philadelphia, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Matt, thank you.